Nice shooting, guys. That's the way I like it, boys. Yeah, baby. Cadillac style, baby. <laughs> this is big time here. <laughs> now. It's rocker Steve Ferris's first Canadian waterfowl hunt. Former member of the platinum producing band Mr. Mr., Ferris keeps a ranch outside Lisco, Nebraska, just for waterfowl hunting. I've obsessively hunted birds for 40 years. Oddly, though I've been to other countries, other continents, I've never made it to Canada right next door. <laughs> Get rid of us. <laughs> I've known about Sean Mann for over 20 years. He's a legend, one of the true legends. And waterfowling and one of the first guys to my knowledge that were really the guru callers not just a champion caller but went to build calls and first time I ever heard one was blown in Oregon and it was the first time I really looked at somebody out there calling thinking my god does that sound like a goose nice shot Steve nice shot Scott well, I'm probably the luckiest guy in the world I have a game call business that I started uh, in the states 21 years ago gotten to travel around and do quite a bit here in Alberta Canada I have a guide service we do field hunts daily here we shoot snows, Ross geese, which are little bitty white geese. We shoot seven distinctly different sizes of Canada geese, from cacklers, the smallest of the bunch, to giants, mallards, and pintails. Bigger? Sure. <laughs> I met Sean Man about 10 years ago through a love of waterfowling and calling, and uh, became good friends, and I had the opportunity to go to work full-time for him to manage sales in the U.S. and that's what my primary job is and it is truly a blessing to be able to work for a guy who's been in business 21 years and made his first goose call in 1985, won the World Goose Calling Championship with it then and to this day Sean Mann's goose calls still hold the most World Goose Calling Championships out of any other calls there out. So I feel very fortunate and it's a great job and I love every minute of it. So Sean, what do you guys do around here for fun? Uh, generally, <laughs> <laughs> that's right, drive around. You know, I've got to tell you, a quick little bit on firearms. Yes, sir. When Chris was here a couple years ago, I shot his Beretta, and I ran right out and got one. And this is the gun, and I just love it. Just love it. I shot Berettas for years, and I don't shoot much here now. You know, I. When I'm guiding, I don't, I'm not shooting, but what a treat it is to shoot this gun. Oh yeah, this gun is shooting wonderfully. <laughs> Look at these two. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Go ahead, Steve. Sit. Sit. Nice shooting, Scott. Oh, I love the way those two came in. That was about 15 yards. All you, baby. All you, Scott. I love the way that pair came. God. Wasn't that pretty? Oh, wasn't that pretty? That's just it for me, man. I don't shoot very often. When I'm guiding a group of clients, I don't shoot at all. I'm in the back, I don't have a gun, you know, I'm calling, using the flag, blowing the call. And I enjoy that quite a bit because it's in many ways like watching a movie, right? That's fun in its own right. But I get to shoot so seldom, you know, the last three days have been a real treat. Now, Sean and I and share a, a love of the scenario. We love the quality of each particular batch of birds coming in and how they play and how good it is when each one happens and today we had all these wonderful moments. Look at the beauty of that bird, huh? We had a bunch of big Canada's swing through and I sat up and I fired three shells and I killed five geese and, and Steve immediately claimed a triple over on his side. Dude, that was a Scott triple said that he shot buddy. some. I mean, I don't know what these guys are thinking or even what they're looking at that was that. because job. it's taken a long time to be able to line birds up so that you can kill two, two, one the way I did. And then for those guys to jump on my claim, well, I, you know, I just kept my mouth quiet. They'll never hear about it, but I know what the truth is. Sean, I tell you, world champion caller 20 years ago and you think a guy would have lost some of his ability to blow the call and everything, but I would say 20 years later, he's as full of wind as, as he ever has been. I mean, this guy goes on and on, and you know, his shooting lacks a little, but his calling's still pretty good. I mean, he thinks he shot five birds. I'm not sure he shot five in three days, but uh, he's a nice guy, nice guy. This is that typical morning in Canada. I mean, the we just had a lot of opportunities, and for what we do, uh, just getting the opportunity to have the shot is what we're after have these wonderful scenarios, birds coming in, get these great kills, jump out, dancing around, yelling. I mean, it was just fun. I mean, really fun. <laughs> <laughs>